Have you ever encountered an issue where your sketch could not be solved because of constraints that get in the way of solving the sketch? New and Onshape is the constraint manager, which makes it very easy to understand what is going on in your complex sketches. In this case, I can see that I have an extraneous horizontal relation that is getting in the way of solving this sketch. All overriding relations are highlighted in bold, and the constraint can be deleted from the entity list. But it doesn't stop there. I can now highlight just external relations, which makes it easy for me to delete those relations and perhaps replace them with other dimensions or constraints that make sense to keep the sketch independent of any assembly context. I can see by adding dimensions while in the Constraint Manager, they are all fully available for inspection as well. Filters are available for filtering out the type and status at the same time, showing dimensions that are in context or internal to the design, as well as sorting by entity or by constraint. With this update, we are excited to announce the Onshape AI Advisor. The Onshape AI Advisor is an AI-powered expert in Onshape built using Amazon's Bedrock technology. You can think of the Onshape AI Advisor as your personal Onshape expert, available 24-7 to answer any Onshape questions you have. And it's available to everyone. So why is this so important? From day one, all of Onshape's learning materials, from the help documentation, to the learning center, to tech tips, what's new, webinars, and more, have all been freely available to everyone. This has been an important part of Onshape's core philosophy and is different than many other CAD systems. This means that over the last 10 years, we have created tens of thousands of individual pieces of material to help users learn Onshape. That library of material is now the source of truth for the Onshape AI Advisor. This gives you a natural language means of interacting with over a decade of learning material. So what kind of questions can the Onshape AI Advisor answer? Let's take a look at a few examples. Let's say that I am a new user who is looking for advice on creating my first sketch pattern. Here, the Onshape AI Advisor gives me a step-by-step -step breakdown of the process that is much more accurate than I would get with any other assistant. It also comes with citations back to the source that was used to generate the response. This is particularly useful when you want to dive deeper into the topic. But that's a simple example. Let's go further. Let's say that I want to know how do I stop my tool from colliding with my part or fixture in Onshape's new Cam Studio. Here, the Onshape AI Advisor recommends defining work holding running simulations, and defining collision groups to avoid collisions in a cam studio. Now, let's go even further. Write a conditional operator statement that says if the trailer width is less than 28, the value should be 6. If not, the value should be 4. Here you can see the Onshape AI Advisor gives a perfect response that can be copied and pasted right into a dialog. The beta version of Onshape AI Advisor is available to all users in the Onshape Learning Center starting today. We believe this is an incredibly useful tool for not only answering your Onshape questions, but guiding you in how to use Onshape and its feature set. And as we gather your feedback, we expect to improve both the quality and depth of answers provided. Finally, we are also exploring potential future applications, like assistance with feature script, model troubleshooting, metadata interaction, and even geometry creation. With this update, it is now possible to match named views from one scene to another in Onshape's Render Studio. Named views contain depth of field, perspective mode, position and rotation, field of view, tone mapping, clipping, background, rendering mode, and section views. A crossing window can now be used to unselect geometry. In this case, holding down the control key, I can unselect geometry items to make it easy to perform this isolate operation. With this update, when creating a section view from a view with breaks, the view now inherits the same break definition. The Onshape Cam Studio Tool Library now supports units for each tool beyond the units of the document workspace. This means that you can have an inch document using metric tooling. You may also want to have arbors and holders that each have their own types of units, which are now allowed. 